Happy Tuesday everyone, Ellen Woodbridge here, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. I am really happy to be here today to share another fun fold card. I'm recreating exactly the same fun fold card with you today, which is similar to this one, um, as in exactly same, but... I'm using different products. So this is using uh, retired products and this is the triple triple fold card. I want to say that's the right name. Um, and it's from Helen Reed in the UK. I will share um, the link to where you can find her um, description and measurements and all like that. Um, I will share that with you in the comments directly after the video. But I made one in class, which is one I've shared with you before. And I also made one with my team. Hey, Marjean. Hey, Chris. Thank you all for popping in. Make sure you're saying hi as you're coming in, giving me thumbs up and making sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any um, further videos. Because I'm, I'm on a, I share videos twice a week. Um. I just dropped my wedding ring on the floor. I felt naked. I've been out and I felt very naked because I'm apparently not married today, even though I went out with David. Hey, Glenda, thanks for joining. So I used some new products um, to make this card with my team. I used the Ringed with Nature stamp set and the coordinating <laughs> I've already made a mess on my desk already you know what that giggle is about and the uh, tree rings hybrid embossing folder hello hello miss J hey Tanya how are you so we're going to use uh, the other hybrid embossing folder because I did use the twigs and sprigs with you the other week so I thought I'm going to use the other one and I've paired it, and these are all designed to coordinate the free Rings with Love designer series paper. So this is in the Celebration catalog. Jamie, oh my God, disaster. Could you imagine if I lost my voice as well? <gasps> the world would end if we both lost our voice. Oh my God, I'm so sorry you lost your voice. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you're sick. Are you sick losing your voice or overuse of your voice at work? Hard to work with no voice. That's right. That's right. Actually, do you know what I've realised? I haven't changed my crafting office glasses. I shall do that switch right now. Oh, no. Hello, Miss Vanessa. How are you? Hello, Miss Georgiana. Um, so yes, you can, the designer series paper that I'm going to use, you can earn for free with a $90 order up until the end of August or while stocks last. Um, I will show you the catalogs when we flick around the card and we're going to be making two versions of the card. So using the same paper, same supplies, but two versions. Hey Pam, thanks for joining. So this is the card. So exactly, yeah, I'm trying to do this backwards. Please excuse Owen giggling. God knows what he's watching. Hey Bev. Oh no, that's not good. Hello Miss Karen. So this is a triple fold. I haven't put in the insert yet, but you can see I've used the hybrid embossing folder and I have um, also popped on the embossed uh, tree ring. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yes, we've had, um, I've had the three others in this house sick um no it's not good i did have a cold the other week it was just a head cold um but yes oh yes i do hope you're feeling better bev you did tell me that um on the weekend so i've used the stylish shape styles 
so you know they're my favorite you can tell i am using them at the moment because there are a couple missing because i have projects lined up on my desk i have designed right up here the four cards for my catalog launch on sunday which is exciting so if you're in my local area and um would like to join in please contact me asap because seats are limited um and i'm designing my christmas stamp thumb my team swap and i have one more project to do because i suspect the last week of the month for me is going to be crazy because i will be preparing for my eldest lavender to turn 18. so and we have a family thing at lunch and then a few friends over it then in the evening so lots to organize but we're getting there which is good which is good hello Corinne how are you thank you for sharing hello Darlene so let's flip over you can have a look at my messy desk and we will get started I think oh thank you it's still not yet not yet um yeah, we've still got till the end. Oh, my God. Uh, Jamie, the the amount I had to push to get these plans to happen, I sent out invitations on Sunday evening for the 30th. So, yes, this has been a hard slog to get this organised. Hey, Joy. Hey, Donna. Let's get flipped around. Then we can chitter chat as much as we want. And I just need to make sure as well that um, I have my second screen going. Uh, can you send me a message and I will reply? Otherwise, I may not remember Corinne. So send me a message. Facebook, Instagram, email, doesn't matter, and I will reply to you. So, yes, I, I generally, these lives are normally, oh, sorry, I call them a bit hectic, but you know, yeah, I, I often don't remember unless I write it down, and um, yeah. Okay, let me flip that back around, because Facebook makes me want to, I have to flick my screen. I'm just going to leave that there for a sec. I'm not quite sure we're in the right spot, but I will, um, I'll get it all moving in a second. Okay. So just let me move this because I just want to see at least the entirety of this. I just want to zoom. Mm, zoom. Uh, come on. You zoomed the first time. You know what? No. Zoom too far. Oh, really? It doesn't want to do it. It doesn't want to zoom, girls. Seriously. Come on. Whoop. Thank you. Ha ha. Now I can start from scratch. It doesn't want to zoom, really. Why, why, why? And let me mute myself, which is good. Which means. Let me mute myself, which is good. Which means. Right. It is actually now muted. Seriously, zoom. You're good. I know I'm good, but oh no problems, Vanessa. I will see you there. I will be there on the replay waiting for you when you are ready. Oh, seriously. Okay. I think, I think we're just going to leave it there. No, maybe not. Let me see now. It's still zoomed way too far in. Good morning, Miss Leslie. We're having, um, you know, the normal technical issues. 
that I um, like to perpetuate here. Okay, that's... How's that? How's that looking? Well, that's looking way too far out. I don't know. My screen's not very um, sensitive today. It's being... Uh, I want to I want to call it names everyone but we shall not you know, look it's just going to stay as it is okay right so we're not zooming in we're not passing go we're not collecting two hundred dollars or any such things today okay just right now, cordage issues. Now, I wanted to show you in the mini catalog on page 62. Lucky I put a tab on that. Is where you find the stamp set and the ringed with nature dies. Now you can see the dies or the hybrid embossing folder here. So you get the embossing folder with the dies, and we can emboss and cut at exactly the same time. And hmm, 70 what? It's all 77 on the page. Too, too, too far, or oh, too, too little. And here is a look at another card, and that's where you can see just embossing folder. So you do get some um, extra sprigs and acorns and mushrooms and lots of fun things that you can do with that. So you can purchase that bundle in the mini catalog, and then you can earn the the paper so this is the paper and they show you heaps of examples in the celebration catalog so for a $90 order in Australia you can um, earn that and it is made to coordinate so let's have a quick flick through the paper kind of got things everywhere so we have this pretty floral it is a bit of an eclectic mix of paper do you know what i need to turn that around because one here is a creature of habit so i have this beautiful floral then a fun check have our tree rings now the dye does cut these tree rings out and then we have cute mushrooms butterflies and greenery and even some berries some nice autonomous colors here and then a nice pink and green got the really cute houses they are adorable then we have a nice um mandala on the back and oh and the other one that i haven't shown you because i've pretty much used everything except for these couple of little pieces right here is this bird and it is gorgeous then we have this really really nice watercolor on the back the mushies are cute i know the birds are gorgeous and we are using the birds and the floral today um so never fear never fear okay oops Oh, I just found my ring on the floor. I might have to go pick it up. Hello, Mrs. Mitchum. How are you today? Might have to pick it up so I don't ruin it and actually put it on my finger. They are beautiful birds. Oh, I don't... Oh, I don't know what it is, Jamie. It could just be my hands, seriously. Who knows with me at the moment? Sorry, I'm going back and... Okay. Ring is on. I am married. Woohoo. Okay. Now, what do I need from over 
you here. I need the card bases. But what I'm going to do first, I'm going to create my tree ring. And then I'm going to do stamping and then we'll get to assembling the card because I pretty much do have everything ready here, which is wonderful. And I have all my bits and bobs here that I need. So, embossing folder. And I am missing a couple of dies out of here too. As I said, I've got projects on the go. I'm using I think on one card that I'm making I'm using like four or five different dies on the one card and they are from different sets but I've been assured by a number of people it is gorgeous and don't lose the mushroom top okay close that up so I don't need to use the stylish banners today but I did use this one for that and I have it pre-jigged out and ready to go just watching Louisa out the window make sure she doesn't eat anything out of the grass because you know she's a dog and she is a Labrador okay I think I want to I've got this paper here and I definitely used uh, crumb cake. So let me grab my crumb cake, which is running a little low. I really do hope I have a piece. Now I'm wondering if this piece is going to be big enough because I've got some other projects that I can use the other tree rings for so I don't mind having extra tree rings but like, all of the oh no all of those were too narrow so just means I've got to cut into a new piece which I never mind doing um, but I like to check my scraps first hello miss monica how are you did you arrive home safely my love i do hope you did oh dear we are running low this is my second last piece i'm pretty sure i do have a brand new pack i'm not i don't sound uber worried because i'm actually not now with this i want this at 11 and a half centimeters so I'm going to just cut it because I can always use these edge pieces and just hand cut them out so that's why I haven't thrown away that piece okay I'm going to pop that back in my sleeve while I knock everything over that's beside there but there you go these things happen okay so we need our big stamp and cut and emboss machine I have my die and I'm going to show you how this works in the hybrid embossing folder I'm sorry if you can hear banging outside my window David is doing some karate practice so open up the die you've got your debossed side and your embossed side so on the on the high side you want to line up your die and you are going to find that when you get this in the right place this just locks in but doesn't want to lock in because of course we're on screen and I'm being watched by 20 people and 20 eyes including my own there you go it's locked in now I'm going to do something different to what I normally do normally I die cut down but today I'm going to die cut up and it is going to cut and I'll just show you there is a little cut line on this side of the embossing folder it doesn't affect embossing when I emboss that line doesn't even show up so it's 
it's not an issue so I'm just going to put my piece of paper over here and close it now I'm not going to flip it over because I don't want that die to move now I know that die is not going to move but I don't want to tempt fate so normally I go label up but today I'm going label down hello Peggy how are you so, whoops, don't need that either so it just proves I store my plates under my machine doesn't it okay so we're going to need plate four and I'm going to need my platform okay I just now have a habit of storing my machine on my plates I don't know whether it makes them straighter or anything but that's just what I do so I'm going spine first in pop in our top plate which is plate number four so plate number one plate number four and then just crank it through not using too much extra pressure to what I do with the 3d mossing folder but I'm going to leave that there pop this all away And of course, I didn't put the plates under it, but I can just slide in next to it. Hello, Miss Myrtle, how are you? Okay, flip it over, open it up, take off the die. Now we're done, put that set. And ta da, I have five perfectly cut tree rings. How cool is that? Now, if I wanted to go a step further, which they do show in the catalogs, I can then take these dies and cut the middle out and then cut a darker one and pop the middle in. And you've even got, you know how tree rings are sometimes cracked in the middle because of the tree's age. You've also got those dies as well so it's a really really versatile set and you can get the dark um bark which i'm actually going to do with a blending brush so i'm definitely going to do that for you just going to pop that die back down and I do just store because I can't rip this, especially when my co-maker of these is on the video with it. So because this is hybrid, I just pop the embossing folder in the back and I know that they go together and where to find it. I know, I thought that when I saw your cutting machine, uh, when I saw your station, Jamie, and I almost said, oh my God, that'd be perfect for, um, your, for your machines. Oh, cold there, Myrtle, it's not meant to be cold, is it? It's, it's cool here today, but, um... It's sunny. I didn't think, I said to David, I said, oh, just pop the clothes out on the line and see how they go. And um, I think I'm going to get a load of washing and my bath mat dry because my bath mat was saturated. So um, now, which one do I want? I could do a smaller one and offset it like... I could do a smaller one and like offset it or I could do a larger one and put the sentiment over it. So do you think we want to go smaller or larger? And I suppose if we go smaller, we'll see more of our pretty birds. Oh no, Sylvia. So happy to share it with you and I'm happy to have sunshine. I'm really not sorry that someone else 
so it's getting the rain. I think I want to do a smaller one. I think I might even I'm just going to do a size up here. I think the little one's too small. I think I want to go with the second smallest. I'm going to pop these aside for another project because you bet your bottom dollar I am going to use them because I love them. <laughs> yes, ja uh, Jamie got flooded in. I think two. Did you actually officially get flooded in? I've got my soft suede ink and my brown blending brush here. So I'm just going to go lightly, lightly around the edge just to add some colour to the crumb cake because I can do that and just make this exactly how I want it. And this is actually working better than when I originally did it. I think I, I don't know if I use crumb cake or not, or maybe I added a lot of colour to the whole thing. Oh, that looks good, just the edge. I love just that edge. That looks so good. So you can see the difference. I went over the whole lot. We're here. I've just done that bark edge. Love that. Okay. Finish with that one. See? You learn from your first ones. Ah, thank you. So do I. <gasps> Hello, Michelle. Oh, you could still get up the road just, yeah. And luckily, I mean, Jamie's house is on the hill, um, is on the high side, but um, she definitely does live in between a couple of um, rivers, creeks. <gasps> Fingers crossed and no buffering. Woohoo, Cheryl. Yay for your internet today. Cheryl's having major internet issues just in case she can't type and she has been missing us all immensely so I'm told. I don't, not quite sure how much I quite believe it but you know we'll see. So I've already done one of these thinking of you for us and I have two to go. So this thinking of you is from the Ringed with Nature stamp set along with that gorgeous house. Haven't used the gorgeous house yet, but I look forward to doing so. Okay. Um, and I'm loving all of the all of the green roses, even some dotage for you. Even some dotage. I know Glenna will be very excited by the dotage. Now, let me find... No, 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 no. Yes. No, yes. The thinking of you is here. And this is the good luck for my team swaps. It's not good luck to think but the good luck was the only sentiment that really fitted well in the um, in the space that I had left to stamp so we're going to pop this in now the good thing about using a jig you can see this is totally crooked but this is going to fit in perfectly and we are going to use some knight of navy i'm a huge knight of navy lover knight of navy oh no rain there yet yes oh cheryl of course we've missed you you and your sparkly personality. Hundred and seven. Ooh. Ouch, Corinne. Although I do prefer oh perfectly stamped. Love I just love this stamp set. 
and I love the font and it just stamps so well. You've still got that mixed font but it's just that little bit thicker. I don't know, it's not too thin, not too thick, not too big, not too small, just right. Goldilocks would be happy. <laughs> oh my god, watch out when she gets her good internet back. She's fighting hard for it. Perils are living in the sticks. I don't know if you guys use that, um, if you guys use that saying, living in the sticks is like living out the back of nowhere. I think that's another Australianism. Yes, I've got that. I do. I look, Jamie, I do have one. I do have one, but because it's a sentiment, I never want to press too hard because then you can lose, you can make, um, and do you know what? Because this is magnetic, it even sits on the side of my, um, of my cut. I found that out. Oh yes, the boondocks. Yes, we have so many sayings for in the sticks. Go on, keep them coming, Jamie. See how many of them know what they are. So I'm just going to pop that on there. I'm going to discard that and I can then put this stamp away and then I have a space for something else for my class. Yes, in the middle of Whoop Leslie. Leslie, yes. And, oh, I just put my magnetic just put something magnetic on a magnetic sheet not right okay closing this ink pad and would you believe that's all the prep we need to do <gasps> do you know what i need more than one tree ring i'm a silly sausage i need three tree rings so i've got to go back a step and i've got to do a few more i don't know whether this little one will work do you know what I think it might we, we might do a little one and I may use this one so we'll do two more where did I put that because I've got three sentiments so I need to do a few more uh, out the back of Burke yep and Burke is a real place so, you know, that's, that's geographically correct. What American-isms do you have for, you know, in the middle of nowhere, besides in the middle of nowhere? I suppose it does kind of work with the woodland kind of theme to what we're working with today. Has anyone gone and tried um, the triple the triple fold card if you share it on Instagram make sure you tag me so then I can see what you've done and give Helen a shout out too because that's where I found this from from Helen which is great love caring and sharing and she used what she had. I don't know if she's um, made it again. Okay, so I've done all three. That took no time at all. Just get rid of my excess ink here. Reclose the ink pad because I'm using some pretty deep, rich colours today. Close. Done. I think this is saturated enough at the moment oh apparently i'm doing no don't know why i wrote saturday night on there i've got an engagement party on saturday night my um my cousin my no my cousin who's the sister the one that got married is having her engagement party Oh, you did go to Burke. Oh, that's lovely, Leslie. Yes, Timbuktu. 
Timbuktu is a place though, isn't it, Corinne? In the tall grass, Deb. Sad. <laughs> Yes, so it will be fun catching up with family, but then I'm catching up with them the week after for um, for Lab's birthday. So, and then it's the one who's having the engagement party, it's her and Lab's uh, birthday on the same day because they're birthday twins. I gave her the best eighth birthday present ever. So she was very happy with her 8th birthday present and it will forever be her birthday present. We always joke about it. Yes, it's used a lot. Yes, gotta love cold chisel. Exactly. Very well. It's really sad to say but they are a very old band. But they don't feel old because I don't feel old. If you've ever heard of Jimmy Barnes, he's the lead singer. He's got the most amazing gravelly rock voice ever. He's actually a Scotsman. So, had a very hard life that man. Okay, just reinforcing all of these folds. I've got to grab the card base that I kind of already pre have done. This is the one I shared in class in uh, my team meeting, but I never actually made it up because the girls just went bam, bam, bam and made it. They were amazing. Kids would say they are classics now. I know. I was thinking about that the other day. They're going, the, what we used to call classics, like the 60s music and stuff like that, the 60s music is like ancient now. Okay, so for back to the card for a second. Back to the card. Let me just pop those to the side. Pop that over there. They can live there. Okay. So for my card, I paired the bird with the... Oh, maybe I don't have enough pieces. But I've made three bases. Ah, okay. I paired the bird with the trees because I thought birds, trees, works. So I've got that piece and this piece and then I paired this floral with the tree rings so I thought that kind of worked so you can see here the floral with the tree rings I think that worked. I really, really and truly, I have an empty packet and I have nothing in here. I may need to just quickly cut another set. Oh, la, 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 la. Now, I'm looking up there. I need those for that. I need... Sorry, I'm looking at the paper I've got. Just seeing, is that the right height? Okay, so that is the right height. And... Got a strip of tree ring and I've got this. I can just make it up and we can do a bit of mixy matchy with paper I'm not using for class. Hello Miss Lisa who is also in Whoop Whoop as well. We have a 
lot of us that really don't live in the city. Sorry, like, so we're talking about whoop whoop and how remote some of us actually, well, not are, but yeah. So that piece is too wide. So I'll just do a bit of measuring and cutting here because, you know, what's one of my lives without a lot of cutting and baffing? Okay, so this is uh, three, four, just four centimetres. Just four centimetres. Oops, when the paper doesn't move, when you pop it in. <sighs> no one saw that, did they? I was even holding that down. Okay, four centimetres. Right, one piece down. Now, this piece is... This piece is eight. Oh, how good is that scrap? That's an amazing scrap. Great. I've got that. I've got that. Don't need that. And then, what is this already cut at? Well, that's already at the right bit. You know, I just need to measure this front panel. And we've got our third card. This is at six. prettiness of colour is wow wow Darlene that is remote okay so we've got that we might do this card first because this is a bit of a special card so i have our glue and well i kind of have no choice do i sorry thinking in my own head without verbalizing which is you know most unusual for me okay i don't need that lid on but I'm they are, and the little birds, the birds are gorgeous. I really, really open it up, Helen, and lift it up before it really sticks really crookedly, like it just did. Okay, let's just put some more glue down and start that one again. Now, on the instructions that I will link to, it links to Instagram, and there are multiple images in this Instagram post, so make sure you flick through um, on this Instagram post. Um, and it will show you the A4 cardstock uh, measurements. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, I'm making this the other way, apparently. That's fine. I didn't quite want to do it that way, but you can open it this way or you can open it this way. There's no right or wrong. It just is what it is. Yeah, it does. Definitely, Jamie. Bureaucracy. Okay. 
Okay. Pop it now. Our trees are most definitely the right way. So I did have that in my brain as I was popping these down. It's like make sure it's the right way. And then the tree rings, it doesn't matter. But what I might do, I'm just looking in the stamp set here, and quite possibly on our centerpieces, I could just stamp the tree ring in the corner of um, in the corner of our um, insert where we're going to write, and that would look that would look really nice actually. Okay, so there. Oh, hmm. Hmm. I actually really want to rip this up and turn it over so I just get a bit more of the wood. That was a really good catch. When am I ever that quick? That is, no. I was quick in grabbing it up, but I just want to add more glue it's fine roughly in the same spots okay i'm going too far over having That's better. Okay, so then see we see more of the wood than what we did before. So get a bit of tree, bit of wood. It all still works, it all still coordinates. Okay, so we've got that one done. Now we're we going to get this other one done. Which way? I think I'm going to go this way. This no, I am gonna go this way. Okay. Take these pieces out. So you just want to keep on checking to make sure you are putting your panels in the right spot so they are seen. Because you don't want to put it like here on the inside. You can put one on the inside if you'd like, but you want to put the right ones in the right places. this one so did anyone have any questions about making this card or about handmade not hallmark that's right second gen um i was actually going to do i was thinking of grabbing my crumb cake ink actually rather than using soft suede just grab my um crumb cake what do you reckon jay should we do that? In here. Yes, in there. Oh, actually, too late now. Oh no, you can see a bit of that. That that's actually quite nice. Now this one, because they're quite edgy. Yes. Yep, that's a nice balance. Open it up, I think. So I do love the contrast here um, between the, the natural colours in these papers and the Night of Navy. I think it looks, just makes everything pop so beautifully. Okay, perfect. And then I will grab three, I need to grab four card centres actually because I haven't done my original card which is now at the bottom of the pile so am I assuming with no voice Jamie you're not working today or are you working and doing non-talking work I hate losing my voice and I dare think I'm going to come back next week and have a strange voice 
after going to this engagement party. I just happen to think that's what's gonna happen. Because it's kind of, well, it's in a private room, but it's upstairs at a pub. So. Yes, uh, I know. And actually, I think, hoping the order comes today, I am actually waiting on some cardstock. I am desperately low on my soft succulent, um, which makes me really, really sad. So that is one of my favourite colours. Using a lot of um, soft sea foam at the moment, actually. It's become a new old fave. I don't know if I can call it new fave. Yes, it is gorgeous. And there's some Pacific Point in the, I think, Pacific Point in this. Oh, let me grab my colour chart. Oh, look at that. Everything just colour chart, colour chart. No, it's not, not easily accessible for me because it's on the page that's in the middle because it's on the celebration papers. But it's a beautiful mix of um, patterns and all of the patterns in this paper, they're, they're slightly different. Like they, they coordinate, but they don't. They're slightly different um, styles. Okay, so there's the birds they're so adorable i'm definitely going to use the little um wood ring on on this one okay so let me get three card noodles let me i don't know if these are the actual correct size i know i have lots of card noodles in here so that's two no, these are skinnier. They can go up there. Because these, the card middles are 14.3 by 9.2. So that's, oh, I do need four, don't I? Silly me. I really can't get them out. Don't want five, I want four. Okay, I still haven't caught up with my friend to pop these ones together either. Okay, so one, two, three, four. These ones are upside down. Perfect. Um, that piece of paper I was going to throw out, I will grab back out grab my crumb cake would you consider laminating a piece of grid paper um i i've got my silica mat as well i'm still picking off stuff from my disaster on the weekend but the silica mat um works well as well um I'm just, I've always got one of these. It's a great idea. Would I consider it? No, because do I have a uh, laminator that's big enough to do that? No. Where I don't know if the laminator's here or at my mum's house at the moment either. It's a consideration. But yes, that is a fantastic idea, Miss J. Always full of great ideas. But yes, I do have my silicon mat. But I always have a scrap of grid paper hanging around. I'm actually going to go left. There we go. Now, Jamie suggested stamping off. Doing second generation so we'll try that one as well I like the second generation J on it 
See, I always need a scrap piece of paper. And it de mm. depends on how blendy I'm getting. Sorry, I'm seeing here pondering, Jamie. If I'm getting like, like just edge blendy like that, I don't need the slip of laminated paper. But if I'm like blending a whole background, the slip of laminated piece of paper would be great. Yeah, glass mats work well as well. A large Ziploc bag, office works, babe. I don't, oh, oh as in take it in there and get it laminated. Because like, when am I going to use a laminator? That big all the time. Yes. Yeah, but I like the amount of ink that a piece of paper um, takes off as well. And I mean, I never throw them out. They go into recycling, so they do absolutely um, get used in the correct, the correct way. So I'm not being wasteful. Um, yeah, we recycle so much in this house. David's always complaining. I'm always filling up my parents' um, recycling bin as well. Because they've got two people in the same size recycling bin that we have. Okay. So that's up there. So that is... Whoop, that's how that will be without the embellishment on the front, which... We shall do next. Oh, a new comment. Yes, I I like the silica mat. Oh yeah, yeah. But I do. I don't know. There's just something about paper, and uh, yeah, it dries out my hands like nothing else. Using paper, I always have. Um, moisturizer here on my table um, but yes I um, these pieces are actually too small but anyway doesn't matter it's somewhere to write yeah there's the Stampin' Up! silicon uh, mats are perfect actually I find they're a good size I use them under my um, die cut machines I use them to ink blend on I use them if I've got sticky stuff because nothing um, sticks to them I've got if you ever come to an in-person class you've normally got one on the table because I do have a very rustic dining room table so it does um, help your stamping experience uh, yes yes it does a little bit um, but it just depends see I've tried glass and I think it's a bit too slippy I don't know I yeah I, I think I've learnt how to do it with paper and I don't know, just your ink regulation would be totally different on it but it's all just a learning experience. Okay, so now I'm going to start with my bird and this is my sample here now that we are up to that and I'm going to cover up maybe I want this to go at the top so then I'm not losing two birds I'm only losing one but he's so fluffy I'm just just playing with arrangement for this one Or do I want it to go on that side? I think I want it to go on that side, actually. I don't know. 
just make a decision and pop it down, I say. Do some sticking and plonking after our friend Adele, hey Jay? She's always up for a good stick and plonk. I think she put up a stick and plonk video, actually. I'm going to have to watch that later. Uh, yes, it does, actually. It sure does. I generally don't have... I've normally got so much stuff on my desk, I more lose my ink pad than have it um, moving around. Okay, where's my rubbish bin? Right there, pop that off to the side. So I have dimensionaled everything on this. So I've gone all out. So I just, oh good, that dimensional was a little bit further in. Okay, and I'm going to get this. Now I have to double dimensional the G end of this because it's actually hanging off. So I've got to pop that on, take that off, and then add another one because this is on a dimensional as well. And then just single dimensional this piece. Just adds a little something. like that and then that is that one and then with the other two I think I am good with just this one a little bit more on okay I think I'm gonna have to do the same thing again go double up Helps if you take off the backing. Um, tell me if you think I need any embellishment on this card. I don't think I do. That's just going to stay like that now. Double, double, single. Not going to work. I'm gonna have to use minis, I think. Oh no, that works. And then just put one on the bottom, but that one is definitely dead. That's okay. I wasn't really paying enough attention for that one, was I? get on there done and then this one can go directly across like our original one now nah, keep it simple oh good idea good idea what's for lunch I've got to go out and have our second last appointment of the holidays with Owen this afternoon. And then I think I'm home for the night for the end of MasterChef. Yes, that's what I thought too. It definitely is busy enough with the papers, but it needed, the sentiment definitely needed something. Um, to sit on which is why I thought the tree rings were kind of kind of perfect now I did put that on crooked but it doesn't matter because it's a tree ring okay I love the poppy parade in here it really does just pop it's like we're in WA which is Western Australia for those at home looking at all the pretty um, 
wildflowers. Done. And done. So I definitely have enjoyed. How long have I? Oh my god, a quick video from me. Who am I? And we had some adventures, some wayward moments. And I'm just over an hour. Not sure who I am at, it, at the moment. Um, ah, that looks good too. Although that really is crooked. I want to make the banner straight, but it doesn't matter about the wood round. It's still a bit crooked, but that works. So, let's go over, let me cap my glue, so we don't have any more. No problems, Mom, thanks for hanging around. Um, I'm just going to go through what we used today. So, we used the ringed. The Ringed with Nature Dyes with the Tree Ring Hybrid Embossing Folder. So it's called Hybrid because these dyes go in the embossing folder and you can cut. And I did show that in the video earlier if you missed that. I'm glad you love them, Janie. And for the sentiment... I used the Stylish Shape Styles, my favourite. Most videos you will find me using those dies. And we used the Designer Series Paper, which you can earn for free as part of Celebration. So just to remind you how these open, just like this. So it's called a triple fold card and I got the um, template from Helen Reed, and she is a demo in the UK and um, I will link, no I'm going to put this one up instead, I will link to her in the comments um, once I'm done here. So you can copy this fold and you use this fold for anything. But one I have this way is open. And then this one I have this way is open. It doesn't matter. And the template that I'm going to share with you is for A4. It's for A4, um, it, which is nice. I like coming up with that oh i'm glad and it's all from the one set of paper so i've kept it pretty simple with what i have used and do you know what if i really wanted this to sit down because i've had it opened and closed a number of times i can just reburnish these edges there we go that's sitting a lot better a lot better than what it was so thank you so much for joining me if you enjoy my videos i would love you to give me a thumbs up and um, make sure you are also subscribed to my youtube channel because i do a thursday video over there as well as popping up some other things from time to time yes it would but it's the same paper and i think i've made I think I prepped like 20 kits of this so I didn't have enough of the bird paper to have the watercolour behind Jamie. So yes, I hope to see you over on YouTube on Thursday, Australian Eastern Standard Time and we will be doing something fun. I am not sure yet what we are doing. So if you have any suggestions of things you'd like to see, leave a comment here and I will see it and I will endeavour to share with you. Thank you, Jamie. I hope your voice gets better. I hope everyone has a fabulous couple of days and I'll see you soon. Bye.